In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, how you make a box and whisker plot uh, on Google Sheets. So I have a couple of sets of data here. So uh, I'm going to start with this uh, column I've called data set one here. And notice that they're not in order. Now, in order to find things like the minimum, first and second and third quartile, those kind of things, you don't actually have to have them in order. But if you want to have them in order so that you can visually see that, oh yeah, that makes sense for the lower quartile, Okay, so if you highlight your data and right click and go to view more cell actions, um, so and then here's the sort range. So you can sort either ascending from lowest to highest, or you go descending if you wanted. And of course, you know, I could change the column here if I want to. I, I highlight exactly what I want. So I'm going to click on sort and it puts them in order. So now we can see that the minimum is 153 and the max is 183. Now, of course, I could just type 153 in here, but um, if you had a whole bunch of data and it wasn't easy to see what it was, if you, um, so I'm gonna just, I, I want the minimum value, so I'm gonna type M. And of course, there's the minimum right there. Now you could type in the, the you know, it's column uh, cell C6 to C23, but you actually can just highlight the, uh, the numbers. And you can close, it's a good idea to, form to close the bracket, but it actually works if you just hit enter as well. Now this is the uh, lower quartile we want, so I'm going to type Q, and so it comes up with the quartile right here, and again, I can just highlight those. Now we have to tell it which quartile. So I'm going to go comma uh, first quartile, and I'll close my bracket, hit enter. And then for the median, now you could, if you type M for median, you don't actually see it, so I'm going to type E the second letter, and it comes up with median. And again, I want the median of this, so hit enter. Again, you don't have to type that last bracket. Now, uh, I could actually, I could actually use the quartile to find that. I could call that the second quartile. And so I would go comma two, okay. It, uh, it actually does give me the same value. So that's the second way you could do the median. Okay, so let's do the upper quartile quartile, now we want this data here, and upper quartile is the third quartile, and the max, of course the max is 183, but I can do M, okay, so there's max of that value, so hit enter, so there's my numbers. Now, so I'm going to highlight this and click on insert chart right here. And so it comes up, comes up with a bar chart. And uh, let's see here. So I want to pick customize chart style. And uh, and when it came up here, I was down a little bit, so I couldn't see. There's the, the type of chart. So we want a, uh, in the Google Sheets are called candlestick charts, not actually called box and whisker plots. So if we click on this, now it says chart one must be text. So you actually have to give it a name. So let's get rid of this. So that's why I had the uh, data set one, data set two here. So I'm gonna paste that in there. And then I'll highlight, so you have to have some kind of a name for it. So insert uh, chart, okay, and there's my candlestick chart. Um, now, uh, a couple things, uh, number one, Notice it starts to scale from zero. Of course, my lowest number is 153, so I don't really need all this extra space here. So if we go into customize, and so that's the vertical axis, I'm gonna click on vertical axis. Here's the minimum and maximum value on my vertical axis. So, you know, maybe I'll go from 140 to 200 or something like that. It's good to have a little bit of space above and below and hit enter. So, so there's my, and that's more reasonable, it's got a little bit of space below and a little bit above. Now, one thing I want you to notice here is that my maximum is 183, but that doesn't make sense is what I have here because that top line there, remember um, a box and whisker plot, this is the middle 50% of the data, that's the top 25%, that's the lower 25%, and it's not making sense that that 183, see 183 should be above 180 somewhere. And and the, and the reason for that is this, um, a candlestick chart isn't a true box and whisker plot. 
Okay, a candlestick chart actually doesn't have the median. Remember, in a in normal, um, uh, actually, I'm going to pause and show you what this looks like. So this is what a a box and whisker plot looks like. So um, this line in the middle is the um, is where the median is, and then lower quartile here, upper quartile here. And then that's the top 25% to the max. Uh, this is the bottom 25% to the minimum. Okay, so a candlestick chart isn't exactly the same thing. So it actually doesn't use the median. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of uh, this. And I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to put data set one over here. So we only actually want these two numbers and these two numbers. We don't actually want the 170. So I'm going to just type in 153. It's probably the quickest way to do this. Uh, 0.5. Skip the 170, so 175. And then the max is 183. Okay. And then I'll highlight this. Insert chart. And, of course, I want the candlestick chart right there. Oh. Uh, oh, what did I do wrong here? Okay, so I see what happened here uh, after a little investigation. For somehow this got checked off, which rows and columns. Uh, uh, I actually have five columns here. So, so there's my columns, and uh, the um, uh, notice that it, it starts a vertical scale from zero and it goes up to 200. I don't really need all this space down here, so we can see more if we actually go in here and edit chart. Okay, and under customize, now it's the vertical axis I want to edit here. So we go in here. This is where I can uh, type in a minimum value. So let's go down to 140 and and maybe uh, maybe a max of 200, something like that. So there's my chart, and uh, it should make sense now. See, 183 is my max. That makes sense. 153 is my minimum. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, and 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 there's my data. So um, now one of the nice things about um, uh, candlestick charts or box and whisker plots are good for comparing data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this and uh, I'm going to do my, uh, I've got this second data set. They're, they're, they're good for comparing data sets. So over here I'm going to put my uh, minimum, minimum for these. Remember you don't have to actually put them in order. And then let's do here, we'll do the uh, first quartile for uh, these guys, comma one, close bracket. And then my upper quartile, Q for again, this set of data, comma three, enter. And then of course the max, actually it's pretty easy to see the max is 193, but we could do the max again. I'll just type in 193. Okay. So I'm going to highlight all of this. So the nice thing about that when I go to insert chart is it's going to, uh, let's see here, chart. Put them both in the same axis. And again, uh, you know, I want to uh, edit my axis here. So let's go 140 to 200. And so puts them both on the same, um, uh, in the same Grid here now, so it's easy to compare them. Um, I can see that for the second set of data, the middle 50% is a little bit larger range than this one. I can certainly see easily that the the minimum value for the first data set is quite a bit lower than the minimum value for this one, but the maximum value here is quite a bit higher here. So uh, candlestick charts are really good for comparing data sets. And remember, um, it's not a true box and whisker plot because there's no median. There's no line in the middle showing you where the median value is. So just keep that in mind. That's a really common mistake. I made an earlier video um, in which um, um, I, I didn't know the difference. I thought there was a median here, but there actually isn't. It's just the minimum lower quartile, upper quartile, and max. That's all they use in the candlestick chart. So they're not exactly a box and whisker plot, but they're pretty similar. And that's the end of the tutorial.